Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today I've got a low country down home recipe for you, some good old chicken bog. But before we get into that, a word from our sponsor. Subscribe! You definitely want to try this dish, especially if you can find you a big mama with an E name or a hyphenated name like Corrine, Anna Mae, Darlene, Mary Jo, Maureen, Sue Ellen, Charlene, Willa Mae, Maybelline. They're going to throw down for you. Trust and believe what I tell you. All right, ingredient roll call. Here we go. So I've got six cups of chicken broth I'm going to be using. It's only four cups right here. I'm going to add two more cups to it later on. Some freshly ground pepper. I have some nature seasoning, which is a combination seasoning of garlic, a little bit of salt, pepper, onion powder, really good seasoning, um, some garlic powder. Um, this is some parboiled rice. This is a local brand I use called Dixie Seven. I don't know. It's really good. I have some diced smoked sausage. You can use turkey, beef, whatever kind you like, some diced onion and some butter. This is fresh butter. I will have a video coming up soon for that. And I've got my freshly clean chicken. And the beauty of this dish is it is all done in one pot, y'all. So in my Dutch oven, you can use a large stock pot, whatever you got. I've got my sausage browning. That beautiful caramelization you see is going to add another layer and depth of some flavor. So I've seasoned my chicken breasts and I put them in the same pot with that nice caramelized flavor at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and give them a good sear on both sides. I'm having a little bit of trouble because this is some pretty thick meat right here. Um, insert joke there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and turn these over. And to that, I'm actually going to add a little bit of, da -da -da -da, there it is, our fresh butter. Um, this is some homemade salted butter. And this, by me using chicken breast, it's not going to be as moist as if you were using, you know, a combination of light and dark meat. So that butter is going to add that richness that you definitely want in this dish. All right, all right, let's rock and roll, y'all. All right, so look at that beautiful caramelized brown chicken breast there. So adding in our chicken broth, I use the Better Than Bouillon Concentrate to some water. So that's what the little sediment and muddy bits you'll see coming out there. I'm going to go ahead and add in the sausage. And all of our ingredients are going to come to a nice boil here. The name chicken bog comes from, I, I really don't know the story. Some about it, the rice getting bogged down in the broth or, you know, the rice growing in the box. I don't know. Wikipedia. It. All right. Last thing in the pot for our stock is going to be some onion. I'm going to go ahead and cover this up, let it boil and check it out. Check it out. Check it out. This has been boiling for I don't know, a good 10, 15 minutes or so, letting all those flavors just dance around together. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the heat down to low, take the chicken breast out so we can shred it, and then add everything back into the pot. All right, so here is our beautiful chicken that I have shredded all up. Look at that seasoning. I don't know if it'll focus. Um, you can use two forks, your hands. I don't like to use my hands. I don't like to get them dirty. I use two forks. Anyway, um, just you want to give that a good shred. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I've got some big pieces. I've got some small pieces. As you stir it around the chicken, um, as it's cooking more with the rice and the sausage and everything, it's going to come apart and shred a little bit more. The beauty of this dish is the variety of textures and flavors. So nice to have a little bit of big, a little bit of small, a little bit of fine, a little bit, you know, all that. So my broth is already at a little simmer here. I'm just going to go ahead and add the rice and the shredded chicken to the liquid that already has the sausage and onions in it. And we're going to give this a gentle stir every maybe seven or eight minutes or so until all the water is observed. Stirring this periodically is going to release the starchiness from the rice. So your end product is almost going to be kind of like a risotto with that lovely stickiness, but not gloppiness that you get from overcooked rice. So you want to be um, at a texture somewhere between individual grains and, you know, like I said, kind of like risotto almost. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready to dive into this. So let's take a look here and see what we got. We've got some fine shreds of chicken. We've got some big hunks of chicken, some nice chunks of sausage, a little bit of sweetness from the onion. If your dish looks like this, hooray, shout hooray, because you did it right. I love this dish because it really highlights the beauty, the simplicity, and the sophistication of Southern cuisine. So thank you so much for checking me out once again. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I will catch you next video.